Well, here we are again at the Spirit Realm. It's been a while since we got to interview Gina. She's an expert in many fields, but that is not why we called you in here today, though. She is a ghost hunter, a voodoo priestess, and a psychic. But on top of that, what else are you? Afraid of dolls. <laughs> You're not alone in that. There's a lot of people in the world it's that have a phobia. A, I don't have that phobia. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like dolls. Uh, but it, tell, the, tell the world why you are afraid of dolls. Or how. I think it stemmed from when I was a child and I saw a rerun of Twilight Zone. Telly Savalas got killed by a doll that looked like Sally Struthers on crack. <laughs> and I was talking Tina, and ever since that damn doll, I saw her on TV, I was afraid of them. Okay. So, but when you were a kid, you played with dolls, you had baby dolls, well, you had all that. not baby dolls, Barbies, mostly. Sorry. The baby dolls I had, if they were in my closet, they went in the toy box with my stuffed animals and games on top, and if the closet had that much of a crack, I couldn't sleep. Well, and, uh, you certainly aren't scared of investigating closets and no. crevices and things no. like that these days. But I can always get you with a doll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, over the years, I have accidentally helped you with your problem because you've oh, got... Oh, right. Accidentally. Well, I meant no, because you have gotten over a few of the dolls that couple you were A couple of the dolls of. I'm okay with now, yeah. Pepe, since I fed him, and he has actually... Let me know he's keeping his promise not to frighten me. Yes, he's, and he's also a guard. And he's my he's guard. He's got a yeah. good spirit mm -hmm. of the house, and he's right by he the does. door. And when he gets my attention, he does it in a way that's subtle, that mm. won't make me afraid. So I am okay with him. And there were several dolls that I had a while ago that received spirits after they came mm -hmm. here made you less afraid and one would be you're a little you don't like her too much but you're not afraid of her anymore right? I'm not afraid of her but I don't really like I'm not to the point where I want to hold her right um, but yeah when you first got her I had a tour here and I was sitting and she was not dressed this way yet mm -hmm. she was still in the clothes you got her in right nothing was around either one of us and I heard her laughing and then I heard a crash behind me and everybody on the tour was like, do not turn around. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, did the doll move? And they're like, yeah. And she had flipped herself backwards. And she moves her hand now. She moves see her, her hand up and down. People have but seen that. But she's a little Marie, a little Marie Laveau. Mm -hmm. steps and I'm not her. scared of Marie Laveau. <laughs> right, so as, a, as her, a spirit. Her doll shouldn't scare me. When he's already had enough of a, yeah, a when, show in this whole video, mm -hmm. we don't have to show her again, but she had been lost for a year and a half and I wish made she her happy, <laughs> and she wanted to come home. She does new things that you don't know about. I now. don't want to know. <laughs> At the doll hospital, we're waiting for the dollologist. We're coming to retrieve Winnie. My doll, who had to go to surgery and to meet a new spirit in a new doll, Cody. She's got Winnie, oh, who looks incredibly beautiful. She looks like a little Mother Nature doll. Hi, sweetie. Her hair looks different. We combed it. Oh. <laughs> and combed this, is, uh, this is our new friend, Cody. Cody, but we'll get to him later. So introduce yourself, please. I am Ann Holbrook, the doll doctor, actually a dollologist. What is a dollologist? A dollologist is she a needs doll a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's a doll doctor that has an advanced degree where we can work for museums, have worked for museums, mm -hmm. have done advanced restoration okay. and advanced studies. My so grandmother was a doll doctor. Oh, so it's passed down in the yes. family. Well, the dollologist, he, she has to do more. She has and to do grandma more. taught you, and then you went and studied on your own. Correct. And do you believe that the dolls teach you too? Oh, yes. And Every you listen to them. Every doll is different. Every doll is different. You know, I do a lot of Madame Alexanders, and you would think they'd all be the same, but every doll has its own personality and its own way of going back together. And how many of them do you think contain spirits, percentage-wise? Just average guess. I would, I would guess 30 to 40 percent. And is that something your grandmother just taught you was normal? Yeah. 
Okay. Because, good, good. you know, children are more receptive, receptive to spirits. Uh, children love their toys more mm -hmm. than adults do other objects. It's, it's something that's well loved, well played with. It's, you know, that they, they say it's in hollow. That's that was true the too. other reason people oh, thought that's, that. That's very true. She looks very pretty with her little. Now, she went and disappeared on us for almost a year and a half. So yes. she's haunted in her own way. way. And I had a string of bad luck after I left her off here. I knew she wasn't going to be happy and being left alone. But they said, what? oh, don't worry. She takes a long time, but it won't get lost. And she did. And it's so weird. She ended up at Mom's. And I cannot figure that out for the life of me, how she ended up at mom. While you were nursing your mom in right, her last right. year. She, yeah. <laughs> so how do you hold her and okay. take her stomach up? Here's the deal. She's got... Pardon, oh, this is not our She rated. blinked. Wide right now. Mm -hmm. When Oops. we... The dress is going to be an obstacle, but she needs it to be pretty. She just wants to be held, don't you, darling? You don't Interesting. Like so she'll talk thing. and walk when she's held, and she's been in a bag for a year and a half. Yes. And then she popped up again before or after your mother died? After. I think somehow she was entertaining your mom. Very possible. Mom didn't follow in grandma's footsteps, no. or was it? But no, she knew about mom it. Mom was a bit of a tomboy. She wasn't really crazy, but she loved about. her eye dolls. Okay. I think she likes this. So I don't want to. Okay. Care. There All right. we go. Okay. What you got to say, Winnie? I missed you. Come on, Winnie. You were doing it for us. You have something to say, my dear? What was that? <laughs> Hi, my name is. Oh. Come on, darling. You can do You're it. on film. Maybe it's the dress. Maybe she doesn't like the dress. I was thinking about trying to figure out, put her in, I'm trying to put her into a 19th century uh, Victorian seance room. So I was thinking maybe she needs something gothic and sexy and corsety and velvety. And, oh, you know, I, I, I was thinking that. Maybe, maybe. Is that it, darling? <sighs> I had her in a communion dress I had bought, which wasn't this one. I don't uh oh, she could walk, she could talk. Because I'm wondering if the dress is inhibiting. Yes. Let's try it again. I like your hair, Woody. Blink for me again. I hope we got that on film before. I know. That I was wasn't so sure cute. if we were. Well, people are abnormally afraid of doll dolls. There's a phobia named after it. What is it? It's like pediophobia. Yeah. Yes. Part of animatronophobia. The oh. people that are afraid of mannequins. And she she wants her face on this. I don't yeah. think she wants to be uh, that kind of woman. There, there we go. There we go, darling. There you go. Okay. Now, if we reset you, will you sing for us? Maybe yeah. put it on the floor. She saw this little boy at my house and she ran towards him, she said all kind of things, freaked out, and then she never stopped walking again. She liked this little See, boy. But if you lift her up. That is a creepy song, yes. I never heard a sing before. Do you like your friend? See? And she'll do the full routine if you hold her. Hmm. And reset her. And again, retwist her. But on her own. It's sporadic. It's when it's she feels sporadic. Like. See? But pick her up. Hello, Winnie. No, nope, she says I've performed once. And hello, Cody. Now, what's Cody's story? Cody is the kind of doll that was made after a little boy's picture. Like, it was made to be a little, little boy. Little boy. It was actually named Cody, right? Cody, yeah. And he died? 
he died in Young. an ice skating accident. Oh, That's sorry. why he's dressed as a little skater. Aww. Yeah, and Grandma had the doll, and they had a lot of activity and un, you know. So the family that things. donated her had had activity and it made yes. them uncomfortable. Right, and well, the grandmother was not uncomfortable with it. The grandmother loved it. Uh, the parents had the doll investigated, and they found um, lots of spirit activity. Yeah. yeah. What is that EMF or? Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes you touch his cheeks, and they're warm, like almost like he's heated. And other times they're cold. They're cold right now, but we'll touch them sometimes, and they'll be warm to the touch. So, so he goes uh, in when, and out is what the, what yeah. you're saying. When Grandma died. Mom, it just upset her. Mm -hmm. But she didn't want to give the doll. She didn't want to donate it to a Salvation Army. Right. She, to just give, she to didn't want to pass on a problem that no, unless exactly. somebody understood exactly. the doll. He will have a good home at the Haunted Museum. And Winnie will be on display as well, as well as Annie Brault. Yes, Holbrook. <laughs> because I guess yeah. Annie Brault, or Holbrook, the doll doctor. doctor. That way everybody can come to Bay St. Louis. They could buy some of your many beautiful dolls. They could get their dolls fixed. And Teddy Or bears. they could come out, come over and freak out because they're scared of dolls because you have a lot of them here. Any Anyone else that you feel has a particular spirit in it right yeah. now in your grouping? We have this very unusual, one of a kind, teddy bear. And he walks. Wow. And he. He does that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That. He's German. He's straw filled. But even a doll expert at the National Washington, D.C. Doll and Teddy Bear show had never seen one like him. So they believe he was made one of a kind for store display. Have you Christmas seen time. the Boo Bear? No. Oh, I should have brought my Boo Bear. Well, I don't know. I may consider taking him along. Bears are kind. Oh, he's a, he's a store display. He's not for sale. No, 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 no. He's oh, he's for expensive. Sale. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's expensive he is for sale because he's one of a kind. Yes. So was the other thing that I had bought. Yes. That's why I was like, maybe I could trade it in. It was also you thought it was a bear, but then you thought it was an elephant or something weird. Hmm. There's a little I prototype, mean. also one of a kind. Oh, oh, that is the Bilkin. Yes. The one of a kind Bilkin. Yes. Yes. Because yeah, I was, was like, I haven't really found, he hasn't found his niche yet, but I have a, the Bilkin. He was actually a prototype. Mm -hmm. um, the Bilkin bear became the first fad in the 1920s. Every kid had to have a Bilkin bear. And it actually came to the designer in a dream. And it is a kind of like an Asian monkey. Yeah, he looks so strange. Yeah. You know, so I... I and I, so they prototyped a couple different bodies, and the end result... Oh, I sold him. I, I got did it. have... No, 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 I had another one. Oh, I had, okay. I had the reproduction. Right, I don't um, have that, yeah, but I had the, yeah, and I I have the original one. I sold one. him. Yes. So. The, what do you know the, where the little boy died? Uh, Cody? Up in Michigan. Michigan. So he's yeah. from Michigan. He's from Michigan. Interesting. My husband's family's from Michigan. Okay. Maybe they knew each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. They I'm never going gave me to. The last um, name that's okay. They did we don't not need to exploit want, that. Yeah. that. That's yeah, they not. They didn't want that exploited. No, no. Yeah. You know? And Just, I understand with the death of a I child. take care of a lot of children's spirits who come right. to me. So. He just came to me in a different way than the rest did. That's all. Yeah. Well, I have all the... We are on this Bay St. Louis. And are you moving again? No. No, no you're staying no, here no. at staying Magnolia here. And Antiques on Main Street in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump from New Orleans uh, years ago. Historically, they had a ferry boat that went back and forth oh, from no. New Orleans here. No, no. Uh, one of our... Bernard de Marigny, the richest playboy in North America, he funded it. And coming over here and across a little bit farther on the other side, there was a, like great areas to recoup and get healthy. They thought they would come here from New Orleans, uh -huh. especially they thought they could escape yellow fever, but they were wrong.
<laughs> the mosquito, mosquito out, out flew them. Well, anyway, we've got lots of cool dolls. You're not afraid of dolls, but you've met, no. a, you've uh, run into lots of haunted dolls over yeah, the oh years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Since you were a little girl. Since I was a little girl. Cool. Yeah. And you have a store spirit that is attached to either just to you or the to painting. the painting. Well, to the that's painting. how I got him. I got him at auction. Okay. In the painting, and I figured out pretty quick the painting he came in because I got three paintings that night and we came in, set them up against the counter mm -hmm. and went home and figured we'd deal with them in the morning. Well, in the morning, the other two paintings were laying flat <laughs> and Johnny's painting was on top of them. And then we tried to hang the painting mm -hmm. and the nail wouldn't go in the wall. She's moving. She's moving for mama. So Johnny is your store spirit. He kind of plays with the kids that come in and plays with the toys. Say goodbye to Johnny, Winnie. It's <laughs> over here. And he followed you from your old store where I first met you. He's followed to here. me to, from two stores. Oh, okay. The original store was over on Fire Tower um, in Past Christiane. Then I had the house, the little purple house across That's where the I street. met you. Yeah, yes. a couple years And then ago. he came here. Winnie, I'm going to try to put your, your chest back on. Yeah. I'm going to see if it's you will. It's a little, okay, are we in that side too? Looks like a little, it. okay. Yeah, maybe a different outfit might help. Haunted dolls have their own personality. Is it the spirit of the person who once owned them? Is it a whole separate spirit? Eh, could be both. So, Winnie seems to not like one of my tour guides, so we keep her locked away. But we still acknowledge her as the queen. And her friend, Cody. Should we give them little masks? She closes it. <laughs> Zoom in on the signs for their names. Well, she's done. She's done. Not yet. Still trying to close this. Her head is in there. Yeah, I'll just watch her get kind of decapitated. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Now you've got something for me and I've got something for you. I have something that I wanted to bring because some dolls don't scare me like the Raggedy Ann's and stuff like that. Well, my grandmother mm -hmm. had this doll and this one moves around in my closet. Or Topsy Turvy. Like Topsy Turvy dolls. I like the Topsy Turvy. I like her too, but you know, like I'll put her on a shelf in a closet because I'm not liking it enough to have a displayed. But I'll go to put her on it and she's on a different shelf or she's not on the shelf at all. So we grew up Maybe it's a New Orleans thing, maybe it's a Southern thing, topsy-turvy. So you got, and sometimes they're black and white, sometimes they're both white, and it just depends. You've got one way and then the other way. Yeah. Now close your eyes. Okay. I got one in the mail today. Of course. But she's so much better 
than I could have ever expected. There you go. Look. Everybody see? Baby secret. No. But baby secrets. Oh, it moves. No, Jesus. I don't now like listen, the listen. moving dolls. Okay, she talks like Linda Blair. Oh, great. That was added bonus because it didn't have a vocal sound thing of her when I bought her and it came she's today wide. just in time <laughs> yeah, for she's... this video. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the dogs think. Well, one's blind, so. <laughs> Who would buy this for their child is what I want to know. Baby secrets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Secret What's her name from Annie? So I love dolls, the creepier the better, and uh, they don't scare me, and I know I make dolls, uh, I teach how to make dolls, I've made dolls with my grandmother in doll clothes since I was a little girl, she collected them from all over the world, and I have spirit-filled ones, regular ones, and yeah, I, know. I get ones that are given to me to adopt because either they're haunted or people can't handle them, and they will all be mascots at the Haunted Museum. <laughs> that is a creepy song, yes. I'd never heard a sing before. Do you like your friend? See? And she'll do the full routine if you hold her. Mm. And reset her. And again, retwist her. But on her own. It's sporadic. It's when it's she feels sporadic. Like. See? But pick her up. Hello, Winnie. Now, because I performed one.